Welcome back to Red and Blue. I'm Nancy Cordes. CBS News has learned the Republican-led House Committee on Oversight and Accountability has launched an investigation into the documents marked classified that were found at a private office once used by President Joe Biden. In a letter to White House Counsel Stuart Delery, Oversight Committee Chairman James Comer writes that the committee is concerned that President Biden has compromised intelligence sources. Comer asked the White House to turn over all documents and communications related to the classified material found in President Biden's personal office, including the documents themselves, by January 24th. The request does not include a subpoena. Kentucky Republican Congressman James Comer joins us now. He is the new chair of the House Oversight and Accountability Committee for the 118th Congress. Mr. Chairman, thank you so much for joining us. My pleasure. So what is it that you most want to know when it comes to these Biden documents that were marked classified? We simply want to know the same things we asked when mar lago was raided. Uh, who uh, has which documents? What level of classification are we talking about here? How many documents? And what was the process uh, involved with uh, making the decision to raid mar lago versus the decision to apparently do, do nothing uh, with President Biden? You said earlier that this was an example of a two-tiered system for Democrats and Republicans at the Justice Department. In this case, uh, as soon as the Justice Department found out about it, uh, the attorney general took it on and, in fact, assigned the investigation to a Trump-appointed uh, U.S. attorney. Did he do something wrong? Well, that's what... You say, but we don't know. This happened November the 2nd. We really don't know what transpired after that. Uh, they now come out and, and say they did all this stuff as a precaution. You know, maybe they did, maybe they didn't. We don't know. That's why we're requesting information. The National Archives never gave us the information we requested when mar a -Lago was raided. Now we request similar information uh, with respect to Joe Biden. Look, this happened November 2nd. Joe Biden said he would be the most transparent president in American history. Uh, why, ha why are we just now learning this? CBS did a great job uncovering this, uh, or we would never know. So, uh, you know, it appears that it's another cover-up, and we just have a lot of questions with respect to how uh, Biden's been treated versus how Donald Trump was treated. So do you see your committee, the Oversight Committee, as playing a role in getting to the bottom of what happened here? And if so, are you going to wait until uh, the Justice Department completes its review of these documents and we learn more about what was actually in the documents? Or are you going to start investigating right away? No, we're simply just requesting the same information we requested uh, when mar a was raided. Again, uh, once we get this information and digest it, then we'll go from there. Uh, I'm not saying we're going to open a full-scale investigation, but we have questions. I think the American people deserve to know, uh, with respect to the, the former president's raid, who actually uh, had the authority to trigger a raid of the residence of a former president. I mean, it's unprecedented that a sleepy government agency like the National Archives would have that much authority. Now, we see the same thing happen with Joe Biden, and by the way, we know it's happened with other presidents where they've mistakenly taken documents home and uh, they weren't in a, in a protective setting and, and they weren't even supposed to have those classified documents. But it doesn't appear anything's happened to Joe Biden. And why are we just now learning about this? They're supposed to brief the Republicans on the Oversight Committee when something like this happens because the National Archives is in our jurisdiction. Uh, Mr. Chairman, in the past, you have accused the Justice Department of uh, being weaponized against uh, former President Trump and, and his allies. But if it is the case, as the Justice Department has said, that uh, this uh, Biden situation was immediately taken under advisement and assigned to a Trump-appointed U.S. attorney, does that uh, address some of your concerns and your accusations that somehow Democrats and Republicans are treated differently by the Justice Department? Well, it may. Again, we want to know exactly what Donald Trump supposedly has. I mean, look, uh, every president has had a, an issue with 
taking classified documents. That's something that, that's very clear and the evidence is there. Joe Biden was very quick to criticize Donald Trump after the raid, said he acted irresponsibly in uh, having those classified documents, but now we see he did the same thing. Look, mistakes happen, I get it, but other presidents weren't raided, this president wasn't raided, and we're just now finding out about this. You know, This is two months later, why didn't we learn about this at the moment it happened? Was it because it was a week before the election when Joe Biden was making the closing argument with the American people that Republicans were a threat to democracy and citing the raid at Mar-a-Lago? Is that the reason we're, we didn't hear about it then? I mean, I'm very concerned about the flow of information, very concerned that there is a, a two-tier justice system. Uh, in the Department of Justice, and that's why we're starting this select committee to, to investigate whether or not the Department of Justice has been weaponized. But wasn't the difference in the Trump case that for nearly a year, both the Justice Department and the National Archives tried to negotiate with the former president to get those documents mm -hmm. back, all of those documents, and they were unsuccessful? Yeah, look, I'm not defending the president here. I'm just saying we have a similar situation that happened uh, to Donald Trump uh, versus what we know now happened with, with Joe Biden, but they were handled completely differently by the Department of Justice. So, you know, I'm, again, I'm not defending Donald Trump. No, uh, under no circumstances should uh, anyone possess documents that are classified that would risk our national security. And I understand that mistakes happen, but my point here is uh, the, the way the Department of Justice and the FBI has handled this uh, are, are very different uh, compared to Trump versus Biden. Right. And it may be that they were handled differently because the, the situations were uh, themselves quite different. Uh, Congressman, uh, in Possibly. the time we have left, if you could just uh, tell us a little bit about these letters that you had sent to the White House at the end of last year, asking for information about Hunter Biden, the response came back from the White House, you're going to have to wait until Republicans officially take control of the House. You now have taken control of the House. You are now the chair of the Oversight Committee. Mm -hmm. So are you going to resubmit those requests, and what exactly are you looking for? Yes, we're going to submit those requests, but the overwhelming majority of those requests pertain to how tax dollars were spent. We're very concerned that there was a lot of waste, fraud, and abuse with the COVID funds. We're very concerned about how the stimulus funds were spent. We're very concerned. Uh, every day we hear a new report that the FBI created a, a new agency with 80 employees to police the social media sites when the FBI never had the authority or the budget to do that. So uh, there's been no oversight in this building for the past two years. That's going to change today, and we're going to request information because at the end of the day, my committee's responsibility is to determine uh, whether or not there's waste, fraud, and abuse in the federal government and to try to prevent that and hold people accountable for wrongdoing. So uh, unfortunately, the administration hasn't worked with us. Hopefully that'll change moving forward. It'll be very interesting to watch. Congressman James Comer, uh, the chair of the Oversight and Accountability Committee in the House, thank you so much. Thank you.